Good afternoon and welcome back to Top Troops. You're here with Karanjo and today we will be doing a bunch of summons. As you can see there will be quite a few and definitely over a hundred troops so it would be very interesting to see if these probabilities are true or not. For this run obviously I have a wish list <laughs> of troops that I would love but any troop really is welcome. Love getting some new additions, expanding. However, if I'm being completely honest, Battle Drummer definitely would be a great unit to get. And then if we're looking at Dwarf Engineer, um, and then possibly some other units to upgrade and feed. Emir, definitely on my list, would love to have a bit of a meat shield in that form with some damage. And then obviously we can go through the epics, whether it be additional conductors or necromancer rats, golems or relief. All great additions. But without further ado, let's jump into it. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe and tick that bell button to get notifications on new videos. Here we go. First epic is Gollum. Great stuff. Wizard. Orc Rider. Archer. And then good stuff. Draggy. Not really useful in any sense, but hey. Not too bad. Gollum, definitely happy with that. Swordsman. Not the draggy. You know how I feel about draggies. Archers. At least some of these units will go to yonder yards and yield me some extra shards and coins. Uh, delivery guy. Definitely don't use these ever. Assassin, Trolls, mm -hmm. Trolls, and then some Archers, Star Draggy, Crabo monster. Not really a unit that I use, however, good food I guess. Draggy. Relief. I love relief. Definitely a good addition for the squad. Heals in a radius, adds defense in a radius. Yep, I really do love Relief. Probably one of my favorite healers. Goblin. There's gonna be quite a few of these guys, so yeah, sorry if I'm speeding through some of them. Warrior carriage, not something that I typically use, but I found it very useful during the challenges where you have restrictions on your legendary units. Not too bad. Let's 
exciting. Got my door for you. Show you yourself. Five epics so far and two burleaves. Halfway there. Mushroom shield, not something I really use, but definitely has its place, um, especially if you're going up against high poison. Um, rats, whatever the case may be. Pork rider. Have a monster. Not really what I'm looking for, but it's welcome nonetheless. <laughs> there we go. Golem. Great stuff. I don't know if you guys saw, we can maybe go back to the beginning of where you can rewind if you like, uh, magic hub video. Um, but definitely, uh, I think my squad is over around 370,000. It would be interesting to see what it goes up to after this, and especially when I level some units, what that would be like. Epic Pyromaniac. Again, not something I commonly use, but definitely has its place here and there. Two epics in that go. No legendaries just yet. Interested, I will definitely be putting the, the counts and the probability at the end of this into the comment section uh, if you would like to have a look. And here we go, Vampire Queen, our first legendary. Not bad, definitely one of the uh, assassins that I do like because of the healing aspect. There we go, our first legendary. There we go. Dakini. Definitely welcome. Love Dakini. Good damage. Good for stunning. Definitely a welcome addition. Maniac. Good stuff. Towards the end, it's getting better. Ah, and there's another one. Royal Guard. Amazing. Quite useful, regardless if they're frontline or backline protecting some of your archers or mages. Ninja Mole, not really a unit that I use, but I could be tempted to possibly. 
haven't played too much with all of the different varieties of units, I kind of stick to what I like. Uh, if you watch my videos, you will see that's Necromancer, Rats, and Verleaf. <clears throat> and those are my favorites. And Dwarf Engineer is also quite handy. And definitely helps, especially in Ancient War. Ancient War. Getting that damage. If you can keep her alive. Merman, another unit that I don't really use all that much. There we go, and last one, let's see. Legendary, another Vampire Queen. Guess who's getting some levels? Elemental, uh, not my favorite. Uh, definitely have him in my squad and use him from time to time, but would rather opt in for something else. Some epics, I think, are better than the Ember Elemental, but maybe it's just my playstyle or the level that I have him at that's not all that conducive. Let's say that rather. Great stuff. Necromon's Rat. Love that. There we go. Now let's do a few legendary summons and see what we can get from here. Probabilities. If you would like to take a look. Would love to get Os or Ose. Not sure how to pronounce that. I would say Os. Um, Fire Slasher, always great. Werewolf, definitely want one of those, those at some point. Ira or Ira, love her as an assassin and that she freezes in a radius. Um, Honey Warrior would be great, but let's see, we only have two of these. That would be Good. Draggy. And the draggy. Don't think what's coming. Oh, three draggies. In a row. Wizard. There we go, there we go. This is what we've been waiting for. Werewolf is finally on the roster. This is my first werewolf on the primary and secondary accounts that I have. I have not seen this unit as yet in my troop selection, so definitely happy about this. Kane Hunter, always in my squad, so definitely good to level her as well. Does really good damage. Uh, I love anything that does either AoE or pierces. It just gives you more bang for your buck per unit. It's amazing. Valkyrie, also a unit that I've recently gotten to love. I think with the, the higher levels that I have her at in my one account, definitely uh, does a lot of damage. Knockback definitely assists. guys for sitting through all of that and now we have three legendary units that I can cash in which I will obviously do um, and as you can see for some reason when I started playing I did three summons at some point I don't know if the game instructed me or if I was just silly um, but at some point I might just use a few individual 10 costs shard summons just to get that 
on a zero, I don't know. If you're a bit OCD, it might irritate you. It bothers me, but I'm not in the screen too much, so let's see what we get. Slime King. Water Maiden, very welcome. Love her. Um, also against the Fire Ancient, definitely helps as she cleanses the bird. And then lastly, another Water Maiden. Amazing. So these two will definitely add to the squad. Let's go see. 363, there you guys can see it in the top. However, let's see what it gets to once all of these get added to the field. I don't even know if I'll have enough space. I hope so. Just a couple of hundred troops summoned. going <laughs> I'd also just like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for liking subscribing commenting asking questions engaging and just watching the videos if you do like it please feel free to comment or give suggestions I'm always open to those and yeah <laughs> There we go, new squad, Water Maiden, very happy, Slime King, great, but Werewolf, this is probably the top, 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 and I'm really, really happy for this, excited to see where this will take us, and also Vampire Queen on this account, I do not have her yet, so there we go, she'll get her first level straight away, bunch of troops that I need to just sort out here and let's quickly see. There we go. There we go. Amazing. Well, thank you guys and hope to see you guys again soon. Enjoy and progress without stress.